of the Olympics of Kapahaka after a four-year hiatus. Te Matatini is underway. Jenny May is at Nā Anawai Eden Park this morning and joins us now. Morning, Jay May. <laughs> morena ABF, morena kia koutou katoa. Yeah, I am here at Eden Park. So as you can see behind me, the Atamira, uh, or the stage, that is where our Kapahaka groups perform throughout the day. So they start at 8.15, and I hope you can still hear me, but they start at 8.15, and then they don't finish until 6 p.m. 45 teams performing out over three days, and only 12 of them make it through to Saturday's final. And it's interesting that you actually talk about it being the Olympics of Kapahaka ABF, because it is like being in a sports team in terms of the commitment um, that is expected from each kaihaka or each performer. I'm going to bring in um, my guests uh, with me this morning, Xavier Norpera. Morena, Xavier. Morena, Jenny May. Um, thank you for being with me because um, you were trialling, because these trials, like I say, it's just like a sports team. You were trialling for Muri Whenua, who performed yesterday, right? First group that was out yesterday. So tell, t yeah, tell me your story about being with Muri Whenua. Um, so so I got a message from uh, the Rōpū to ask if I wanted to trial to be a part of the standing um, team for Te Matatini and um, I was really excited and said yes of course um, because they're a group from home and it just meant more connection for me and my whānau to be involved around learning more. Waiata and Kōrero from Atupuna. So when you talk about being back from up from home, uh, that's up north, way up north, but yep. you were living in Christchurch when you got that message. Yep. So you said yes. And so tell me about the amount of travel that you were doing prior to Matatini. Um, so travelling either from Christchurch, flight from Christchurch to Whangarei, hire a vehicle, um, drive from Whangarei to Kaitaia and Noho and then do that back. Um, so it was either Kaitaia, Whangarei, Auckland, or we had one Noho and Kutaruru too, so flew to Rotorua, hired a vehicle and drove there. And, and so, okay, so this is still trials, right? So, um, and this is, all this cost, etc., is all on you as an individual. And, um, when you got the call to say, look, sorry, you haven't made it. I mean, how did that? How did that feel? I mean, it's it's a bigger than just just that. Yeah. But how did that feel? Um, I suppose it was even before then. I literally financially couldn't make that commitment, so um, I had to put my Fano immediate Fano first and their priorities, and um, definitely got it. Um, but I'm not giving up. I eh? <laughs> will try for the next time and. Um, it's with all the mahi that you put in, you know, you expect that you may not make the team, and that's the kopapa. But isn't it, yes, you're right. That is the kopapa because it's actually bigger than that. Though, you know, in terms of you coming back, travelling home, it's about representing who you are, your my ancestors, people, yeah, my iwi, um, and for my children to be immersed in all of this as well, and so they know who they are and where they come from, yeah. Definitely. What was it like to watch them yesterday? Amazing. Like, obviously I've been a part of the campaign and I've seen the bracket a few times, you know, um, and they just smashed it out of the park yesterday. Like, I was literally so proud. Pride. Um, still number one. Like, we're definitely winning. <laughs> day two, haven't even started day two and you're going to win it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not, even though you didn't make it this time round, you actually stood in 2015, right? I did, yeah. For another little in Christchurch, um, Kapaka is such a vessel for any Māori people to be connected to Te Ao Māori. Yeah, so um, 2015 was the first time I actually saw Muri Whenua um, ever perform and that's where I got that. I was like, what? We have a group from back home. Um, yeah, so that was awesome. Hang on, you, how pregnant were you back then? Oh yes, I was hapu, 38 weeks hapu on Te Matatini stage. Yeah, people were like, are you serious? Um, but that's the love and the passion for our culture and for our people and our hapu and our iwi. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much, Xavier, for your time this morning and thank you for telling your story. And go you. Awesome. So two years time, eh? That's you? Aye. Yes. You see me up there. <laughs> beautiful. Uh, Xavier spending uh, some time with us this morning, but it is such a beautiful atmosphere uh, down here. The first group up is at quarter past eight and they are from Te Arawa. And like I said, those groups will perform all the way through, um, through till 6 p.m.
p.m. tonight. Then uh, there'll be another lot coming through tomorrow with those heading to the final on Saturday. So I'm going to stay here. I might have to go back to the shops because you know, and where the K is because that's no, don't, don't performance is you know all good, but you know. <laughs> no, stay where you anyway, are. Anyway, I'll be back just before. I was going to say, so don't go to the shop, stay where you are. And in that sea of grey, you are a beacon of orange light, Jenny May, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. I appreciate that. Anyway, I will be back at around about 9 o'clock, but we've got to go because the first performers are coming onto stage. Enjoy. Thanks, Jenny May. We'll see you in a bit. Right, FIFA could be...